Hey guys, Matt here. I'm going to go ahead and continue on with my Windows Defender test on Windows 10. We're going to go ahead and wrap this thing up tonight. I've got some fresh new malware just came out today, and some of them uh, actually look like some kind of spear phishing thing where they're actually targeting um, one of the companies that I manage. Um, it was pretty tricky. Actually, it was a legit looking email. The, um, the attachment looked sort of legit. And I almost approved it, and then I saw it was an EXE inside of a zip file uh, upon further inspection. So, anyway, that was kind of freaky. I only have four, so let's go ahead and start with the first one. Oh, and uh, by the way, I somehow got this tune-up utilities thing installed. That just appeared today. Uh, let's go ahead and update Windows Defender. I think I just did. Yeah. 523, we'll go do it again. All right. So let's go ahead and grab the first one and just yoink it over there. Well, Windows Defender does not scan inside of archives, so we have to pull this out. And it appears to be caught. So that was sample number one. Uh, number two. Number two doesn't want to go. Come on, buddy. It might be a little too long on the name. Oh, let me try number three here. There we go. I'll have to rename number two. Uh, let's go ahead and open up number three. Pull it out. I try to, let's go ahead and try to execute it. Now it's gone, or it's been detected. Let's go ahead and grab this guy. And pull him out. Same thing for him. And then we'll try out this guy who wouldn't go. We'll just call him one, two, three. Let's see if we can pull him out now. There we go. And this was the guy that was very kind of targeted. The email was targeted towards the company, uh, one of the companies I manage. And it was caught. So Windows Defender on the patrol today. So let's go ahead and Open this wide up. We will do a full scan with Windows Defender. Thank you. Thank you. This is a lot of fun. Okay. Um, Windows Defender. And we'll do a full scan. Scan now. And um, just to see, you know, if anything's kind of hiding around things we might have missed. Um, after that, we'll come back and we will go ahead and get a second opinion from 360 Total Security. And I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Let's see what we found. Not a damn thing. So all this uh, malware remains on the computer. Um, zipped up in different archives. So let's go ahead and that's nice. Open up Internet Explorer and we will grab 360 total security and see what it has to say on this whole deal. 60 total security. And we'll go ahead and download. It's going to swap us over to download.cnet.com. Installer enabled, though. This is hilarious. This is a whole nother subject. 
So we're going to download an antivirus, anti-malware, whatever you want to call it. It's going to probably want to install adware, also known as malware, basically. It's bad software. So let's see what happens. Maybe nothing happens. I don't know. It's extremely slow to download from here. I know I can get it from other places, but... I just want to show how the average user would, would do that. So let's go ahead and run. God, unreal. So we're going to get some uh, bundled adware. Possibly. Let me see. Terms of use. So 360 virus and spyware free. Sure. Okay. Except. Okay. Let's see. Set my homepage to Yahoo. Just such crap. I mean, this total shit. Special offer. Uh, well, you by clicking, you agree to install malware protection live services. Just crap. And then the installer breaks and doesn't even work. What horse shit. Oh, I hate shit like that. All right. Um, 360 total security. Don't host your stuff there. You're getting a bad name by doing that. Let's see if we have an offline installer we can download from here. Okay, so the offline installer looks like it downloads um, just fine. It doesn't go to um, download.com or whatever the hell. <clears throat> All right, so it's going to give us a little install path here. Uh, join the customer improvement program, install. I like that it doesn't beg you for an email or anything like that. I have reviewed this in the past. It was a pretty nice little app. Um, however, I don't even think I had all the engines turned on, and it still did pretty good. Fantastic, really, I think. If I remember right, I'm, I'm not totally positive, but. Okay. All right. Well, while that's installing, I'll go ahead and pause this. All right, it is installed. I do have all five engines running. Uh, I do need to update, and I haven't done an update yet. I don't think. Um, hang on a second. I did go in here under uh, custom, and I did have to turn on these uh, engines, the Avera scan engine, the Bitdefender scan engine, I don't see any kind of update function on here in case I'm maybe I'm just blind or something. I don't know. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a virus scan because that's all I'm really interested in. And let's go ahead and do full scan. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll let it run. We'll see what we find. Oh, by the way, um, I need to go ahead and do a protection mode on custom. Sorry. Click back. Go to virus scan. Stop it. I want to make sure this is all legit here. Everything's selected. So stop the scan. Okay. 
All right, so it is doing a scan with all those engines selected, and uh, let's go ahead and let it go and see what happens. Well, <laughs> it's not what I expected. Um, it says it found five unknown kind of files and then uploaded them and said they were... Oh, we'll go ahead and upload them, whatever. It didn't find anything than, other than uh, what uh, Windows Defender found. If I open up this... Oh, hang on. Yeah, it, it finds stuff like that, so they don't have any kind of archive scanning as well. So I don't know how I feel about this. Um, I feel like I want to scan with something else, but I don't have the time for tonight. So I'm going to have to go ahead and call this video, and I don't know. I might scan with some kind of bootable solution and see if anything's hiding. So I'll talk to you guys later, and um, I'd also like to thank my Patreon subscribers, my supporters. Uh, if you think my videos are decent, you can give me a dollar a month. You know, cancel it anytime you think I suck. Anyway, thanks to my four Patreon subscribers so far. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'll go ahead and put a link right here if you want to go ahead and be a Patreon. So thanks a lot. See ya.